This is half a review on the Cookology CMD W25 tabletop washer. I've not really thought this out, but I'll just give you a demo on that. This is quite a manky wash that I'm actually doing. The opening thoughts about this, I've had it for three months. You'll always have space anxiety. And the main thing is, it officially doesn't fit a full size plate. It just doesn't get a height. Although I can turn mine around, but mine's a plastic. I can turn mine around if I. But uh, also about them. So you'll always have space anxiety. Things like pots and that, you know. Anything you can get in it will wash it okay. You're going to struggle with pots or big plates, dinner plates, even standard dinner plates. Um, I would recommend choosing your plates to suit rather than the other way around. It's just a pity it's not got another 5 centimetres in height. It would have fitted a dinner plate. But it does a good wash. The wash is okay. The roller comes right out, so you can take it right there. Yeah. I'll show you me doing this wash. It's quiet. That I can see that clearly. It's not flashing on off like you're seeing. My camera's messing with it. If the two, if the two, if the colon thing there is. Uh, It's got three general settings for general washes. That's the rapid one, 29 minutes. When it's flashing like that, that means uh, it's not on. I don't know what that's for, I'll need to check what program 4 is. One is a full wash, two is a, an hour wash, three is rapid wash. Which in most cases usually does, but I mean, I, do, I usually use the air wash, so program two. I'll just show you how you're doing this wash. I'm going to put in a, an all in one from Magnum from Aldi. I just put it there, oops, keep it down. It says you may put it there, but it just falls out anyway. That's an all-in-one, so that's got salt and rinseed in it. Like I say, this is a it's a it's a good wee washer. It's good enough. Just the problem is storage and especially dinner plates, which you can't get in the normal way. I can get my dinner plate in, but mine's just getting no curve as well. Remember, you've got a thing with the curve. Once you start covering all that, you know, it's probably a nightmare. Even my small plates haven't. These plates are manky, but I just done it for show. You're meant to sort of take away the excess dirt before putting them in. To fill it up, it's that thing there. When that goes away, and it'll beep as well, and that means that the tank's full. You can either plug it in to your plumbing directly or you can use this up here manually it's about five liters it takes but you'll get the beep when you're getting close make sure you've got it switched on not the program just just the power so I'm going to fill it up manually I'm just I'm just going to use a, a hose I'm filling that up, you'll you'll see that disappear and the bud it'll beep.
I've just got my, my waste pipe in the bank for now, in the sink I mean. As long as it's pointing downwards and all that, it's been okay so far. It's got three main washes that I know of. I don't know what number four is. But number one is the main wash, which is 2 hours 40. Number two is the medium wash, which is 1 hour. And for this I'll do number three, the rapid wash, which is 29 minutes. I think I can add steam. I don't know why that steam comes in at the start or the end. That takes up with 35. I'll just leave it rapid this time. There's my plug around the side there. I've got my, I've got everything set. Get my all in one. Everything's ready to go. I'll put that there. This is quite a messy lot I'm doing here, but okay. Here's the, the button. First it drains it. Any if that's flashing. Not the whole thing, just that column hang, that means it's in progress. If I do that, the colon's stopped flashing. I know the whole thing hasn't because of my camera, but the colon's still flashing, which means I could put other stuff in if I wanted. Stuff like that. I've put it back on again. The colon's flashing. It'll start up again. There's no water in it to drain. Here it goes. Oh no, there is. I'll put the big plate in. So that's stopped. I know it hasn't in the camera, but it has in real life. I put my big plate in the wrong way because it's the only way it fits. It's really tight for space, this thing. It says there's enough room for two place settings, but it's really tight. It's not flashing. No, it is. It's back in progress. Filling up the water. seems to come in from that side. I don't know about any other ways it's going in. Here we go. It's nice and quiet except for anything bubbling about.
This light goes off after about three minutes. It comes on when you open the door. So to me it's got three general washers which are over here. And it's also got three special washers. It's got one for fruit and one for a, a baby's utensils, or whatever you call them, bottle and stuff, which is a really high temperature. And that's to add steam. Yeah, and there's the functions there. Number four seems to be for class, especially. It's 10 minutes in, still in wash cycle. I'll show you the instruction line. For some reason, this is the same on both sides. So I'll just look at this one, just to, so you can read it. So there's the washes, one, two, three. And then there's a fourth one for glass. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Main wash, one hour wash, rapid, 35, 29 minute wash. That's about 2 hours 40. And you get fruit, wash hot, fruit wash cold, baby care, and then glass, which was number four. The manual's sort of pigeon English, so quite hard to follow, but you should be able to. And most of this first bits. Just, just not very interesting. Yeah, it tells you to put salt in that, but the tablets nowadays are all in one, which have a bit of salt in them, so I've not used any salt yet, and I probably won't, unless something goes wrong. It's to do with lack of salt.
is how they're suggesting you fill it. You won't get a, a normal dinner plate on the right, the right way. At 24 centimetres maximum. I don't know, maybe 25, I don't know, maybe 26, but I struggle. And the shape, well, it's, well, the curves as well, you've got to keep that in mind. A lot of them you won't get in because of the curvage. But if you do get stuff in, it'll wash it fine. I've not even tried pots or anything like that, it's just, just not out of space. You could get small pots in I suppose, but anything you can get in it will wash. Telling you the times 160 minutes, 60 minutes, 29 minutes, 12 minutes for that hot fruit wash, 6 minutes for a cold fruit wash, 115 for the baby stuff, 85 for glass. All of them are taking 5 litres of water. There's the energy, that's maybe the equal, but there's only not much difference between the one and the other one. I'm using less on rapid. Okay, there we go. 14 minutes and it's draining the water out. Looks like you can change the programming midway, well, between, I think. If you forget to add a dish, you can just open it up or stop it. Probably during the wash cycle, I don't know about that. I've not done any maintenance yet. I think this is a cold wash now, the rinse. I guess I will clean the spray arm someday. I'll do a few videos on this. Put them in a 
playlist. Yeah, you'll always have space anxiety with this, but it's better than washing the dishes. If you have no other choice, I would get this. But if, if you have got a choice, I would get one slightly bigger, wider and higher up. One thing I really like about it is uh, the glass, because I can see what's going on sometimes. Like that's moving about, I could open up and put it in the right place again. It's very quiet though. Eh? You could run this during the night. As long as nothing's moving about inside it. If something's moving, it does make a noise. I'm not sure, but I think this last bit's 10 minutes of drying. Which I suppose you could do without it, if I knew how to, but it looks as if it's filling up water actually. Yeah, I must be doing another rinse. Yeah, it's rinsing more. I don't think that sprinkler thing's moving around, I don't know where the water's coming from. Maybe it's coming from, must be coming from the top. You learn something new every day. Yeah, it seems to be coming from the mud. tablets I used, they've got a soluble wrapper. With the older type you need to take the wrapper off but this one's soluble so you just pop it right in. At least as if the some water's coming from below. Some sort of scrub jet. It's not that sprinkler thing. This is all new to me. Done. So the jet's coming up there.
can do without the buzzes, or at least make them smaller, quieter. There we go, a rapid wash. My dishwasher's a bit manky, I need to give it a clean bit. So it's still hot. I don't think it, the rapid gives it a blow dry. Nice and clean plastic. I don't think plastic's a fair judge because it, sometimes I think the stuff gets ingrained in plastic. It's by the man made it. See there's a bit still there but it was a rapid wash and, and this plastic's sort of, it's not got a gloss. So I think uh, that one's got a gloss. It's done better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. A plastic cutlery. And my pot. My pot's never really clean, but that'll do me. And my plastic one. So, uh, the roller thing comes right off. I could remove the rack if I wanted to. This comes clips off as well if you want. There's a sprinkler thing. I don't know where that water was coming out at the end. Maybe it was just at the end there, I don't know. I thought it was maybe from down here somewhere. But this thing you can take out. I think this is just a filter. It means it's a bit manky. You give it a clean. I've had this for three months and not changed them. I think this is for salt. I've never used it. Then you've got a wee thing here, I don't know. But that whole thing comes off anyway. Like I say, I've not done anything to it yet, so nothing's gone wrong yet. When you're not using this, just switch the power off. I keep the plug in, but I, s I think the power goes off anyway, after a few minutes. But like I say, you'll always have space anxiety and uh, a lot of the plates and things that you're using at the moment might not fit, either because of the curve or dinner plates, because of the height or the diameter. But if you can get stuff in there, I mean, you, for daily stuff it's excellent. You'd struggle with pots, I guess, but for daily daily plates and stuff it's excellent cups and it's better than washing the dishes it'll give you a good wash it's quiet it's easy to lift you can use it anywhere as long as you've got a bucket for the for the waste pipe so that's the Kikology CMD W25 I recommend it apart from the space problem